The setup and configuration of section control can vary depending on both the implement type and the material selected to be controlled. However, the underlying fundamentals will remain similar across all configurations. The first configuration page in section control is settings. Within the settings tab, you can enable or disable section control. If you are configuring an implement such as a spreader or air cart that does not have physical section motors or valves, you have the option of selecting rate as section. Selecting rate as section will use the flow control of the product to turn on and off the application as one section. In the initial setup of an implement such as this, you will need to turn section control off and then turn it back on to access this option. To configure back to actual section control, select the control type as field IQ. The number of modules is referring to the physical modules that will be connected to the channel to control section switching. One control module, whether it be a rate and section control or a section control only module, has the ability of controlling a total of 12 section outputs. The XEN 750 display has the ability to connect two modules together to control a total of 24 sections, whereas the XEN 1050 and XEN 2050 display has the ability to configure up to four modules controlling a total of 48 individual sections per channel. Enter the number of modules you have connected to control sections for this channel. For demonstration purposes, we'll select two. The section control type is referring to the type of section motor or clutch that is being used. Select the correct control type for your configuration. If setting up a boom spray, you will have the option to enable or disable fence row nozzles. When selecting a fence row nozzle, you will have the ability to configure just the left or right or both nozzles. If none is selected, the section control module will have the ability of controlling 12 individual sections. If both is selected, one section control module will only have the ability of controlling 10 individual sections, as two section outputs are now dedicated to the left and right fence row nozzles. If left only is selected, section output number 1 will be used to control the left fence row nozzle. If right only is selected, section output number 12 will be dedicated to the right fence row nozzle. It is important to note that the majority of spray platform specific kits are wired as though they implement has both the left and right fence row nozzle control. Because of this, even though your vehicle may not be fitted with fence row nozzles, you may find that you need to tell the system that it has both installed. The most, com the most common sign that this is the case is you will find that the sections are offset by one. For example, section one is not turning on, and when section two should be on, section one turns on. You can also change the assigned output wire for the right fence row nozzle. Field IQ 12 will mean that the section 12 output pin will be used for the right fence row nozzle. Set to Raven slash Easy Boom plus one replacement is referring to the output pin that follows the last configured section. For example, a five section machine with just one right fence nozzle would be configured to pin six. The module tab is where you assign the serial number of the field IQ module and the number of sections that it will be controlling. To do this, press the module that you want to assign and then select the appropriate serial number. The serial number should match the serial number of the control module mounted on the machine that will be controlling the physical sections. Next, specify how many sections this module will be connected to. Press the tick to save the settings. Repeat this step for any additional modules that you have connected for this channel. Use the next arrow to configure each individual section width. If setting up a liquid control channel, in the width tab, use the arrows left or right to view each individual section. To adjust the width, simply press the section you want to adjust. Once section widths are set correctly, use the next arrow to continue the configuration. If setting up section control on an implement such as a planter or air cart, which uses a granular product, you will have the ability to assign section groupings. This is where one section output wire may control more than one row clutch. To configure your groupings, select the section output you want to configure and then assign the rows that it will be controlling. In the wiring assignment tab, you have the ability to assign output wires from the module itself to individual sections. By default, section ID number one is generally going to be either the left hand fence row nozzle or section output number one if no fence row nozzles are selected. 
To assign a section control module output pin to an individual section, press the spanner icon and select the appropriate output pin for that section ID. This example shows section output pin number 2 controlling section number 1. Latencies are used to compensate for any system lag in section valves turning on or off. It is important to understand that the coverage mapping on the display is tied directly to the latency value. For example, if you set a latency of 5 seconds on, you will not see the coverage being painted on the display until 5 seconds after the master switch has been turned on. This is accounting for you telling the system that it is taking 5 seconds before the valve is open and product is applying to the ground. Apply latency to boundary is referring to the latency value being applied to the automatic switching when crossing a boundary, either the outer or inner boundary. If you are using an inner boundary to trigger automatic section control, it is important to have this turned on for accurate seed placement. Sections off when stopped will have no effect in virtual setup, but it's referring to the section motors being switched off when ground speed reaches zero. Use the next arrow to continue into overlap control configuration. This is where we can configure intentional overlap in relation to our section switching. Start overlap is referring to the application being turned on before exiting an applied area. End overlap is referring to the distance it will stay on into a sewn area or a sprayed area before switching off. Coverage switching overlap is referring to the application overlap. This is the map layer you see visually on the display. A setting of 99% is meaning that 99% of that section needs to be within a covered area before it will turn off. If set to 1%, the section will turn off as soon as 1% of that section width is within a covered area. Boundary switching is referring to the amount of the application that needs to be over a boundary before it turns on. This set to 1% will mean that as soon as 1% of the section crosses a boundary, the section will be turned off. If you are doing a planting application and using the inner boundary to switch on and off your planter, you will want boundary switching set to 99% to ensure that the entire infill is planted. It is important to understand that boundary overlap and latencies applied to boundaries is only applicable to when the implement is passing into a boundary area. When the implement exits a boundary area, by default, no overlap or latency is applied.